Welcome back to another episode uh, on Fat Kevin's Gaming of American Truck Simulator. Still hauling that aromatics cargo market job is in progress. Let's go ahead and get on the road. Heading to, from Laurel, Montana to Del Rio, Texas. First time to be in Texas. Um, I thought I slept, but I guess I didn't. We are in New Mexico, if I remember right. Yeah, yeah, Raton, New Mexico. I thought I'd hit the sleep button on the last episode. There we go. Let's roll. We got full tank fuel. Oop. Turn my bright lights back off. Oops. Buddy, do you have any lights on? Alright. Gonna make a left on out of here. Head on down the road. 655 miles. Says we need 11 and a half to 12 hours to do it. And next rest stop in 14 hours roughly. So let's see what we can get done. Be in Texas and New Mexico. Uh, New Mexico for most of the day. Texas the rest, or for a small portion of the day. Texas the rest of the day on the episode. Good news is, it's 4.30 a.m. We ought to see quite a bit of Texas in the daylight. So uh, It'll also be the first time in our series here that we've gone into. Um, I do not see... Let's see. Maybe I don't have that selected. One of my episodes, I've got it selected for time zones I'll say time zone wise it'll be the first time we've been out of Pacific or Mountain Standard or Mountain Daylight whatever it's called on the game it'll be the first time we'll be in Central Time so. hope everybody's doing wonderful hope everybody had a great weekend we're just gonna truck along here in American Truck Sim trucking with me Let's look at the map real quick before we go too far. We're going to go through Dalhart, Texas, Amarillo, Texas, Lubbock. I know I'm not saying it the right way. I'm emphasizing some stuff. San Angelo and Del Rio. Maybe uh, out of Del Rio, we can get over towards San Antonio or Houston and get some more freight haul. Hey, what does everybody think about the current week? It's almost Christmas time. Where do we want to be for Christmas in this game? I mean, we just we just left Colorado, which in Col in in this series, I mean, uh, we've been using Colorado as our home base. To be exact, Lamar, do we want to be home for Christmas, or do we want to buy a new office and make that our new home? Honestly, I'm. You know, looking at the series and thinking, you know, buy an office in Dallas, make that our new home. It's closer to my real home here in Arkansas, and it'd be kind of cool. Maybe sell our Lamar office and start an office in Dallas. Might have to try to get up there, check out the scenery and the landscape. Yeah, so let's make that our backstory. We'll make that our backstory in the series. We are currently in, uh, headquartered and based out of Lamar, but we've had the opportunity to look around in Dallas and or Fort Worth, wherever the nearest uh, truck shop is there, and that's where we're going to relocate our company to. Still have the office in Denver because we do have a driver based out of there. We're not going to force drivers to relocate. Be a pretty good little backstory for the game. I'm 
read somewhere it's like 20 something thousand miles of new roads in the game once they added Texas. It's a lot of roads to explore. Artra, um, I can't see for sure. It's kind of blurry down there. Um, it's amazing how blurry it can be on the game. Um, here's one way to tell. Uh, truck manager. All right, we're in the Peterbilt. Peterbilt shows we have 8,100 miles on it right now. So, um, 20,000 miles. We'd have almost 30,000 miles on the truck at that point. Why am I going so fast still? Is this... I couldn't tell what that said. We hadn't crossed the Texas line yet. I was checking to see if we'd crossed Texas yet. Oof. Again, we're getting close. Whew. Brakes. US 64 hanging left. 56, 412. Both left or right. And 87 go straight. Tell you what, I'm not the only one got close. Look at that car. I can't get a good enough view on it, but. We can go through little towns like this all day. We may not make it. <laughs> we'll try though. There's a speed limit sign. I don't know if it's going to go up or not, but we are unfortunately. Oh yeah, it did go up. Cool. So, yeah, I thought it would. Here's the 50, so even better. And here's the 70. Go ahead and go. Get out of slow or the fast line there. I figure that truck's gonna have an issue getting up and going just like we will. Keep an eye on our clock, make sure we're not running out of time. Should be crossing into Texas very soon. In fact, that's probably it right here. You know what? Central time zone. All right, welcome to Texas, everybody. Everybody can get around me. We're good. Click, click. Um, I don't. Hey, looky there. American truck screenshot saved. There we go. I guess that car's gonna let me on the road. How about that? Be in Dow Heart, Texas, here shortly, so we probably won't be getting up too fast. Yeah, looky here. Wrong way, wrong way. Do not enter, do not enter. Achievement progress. One out of 29. Dow Heart, Texas. So we got 29 cities to visit in the state of Texas, and I wonder how many we can knock out. We're going to really slow down. Is there a traffic light up here or something? Oh, we're just going that slow. Street cleaner, okay, okay. There's a 
service station over here on the left. Amarillo, 65 miles. Texas on a U.S. highway. It's one thing you gotta love about Texas. You can get up and go. <laughs> they got so much, so much uh, distance in their state to cover that if you don't get up and go in Texas, you're gonna be down there a while. Of course, right now we're running in the back road here. But uh, later on, we'll get on Interstate 27. I think I've seen for a little while, and then we'll be back on the back roads most of the trip. as if they're trying to upgrade this road to a uh, future interstate possibly. The way they got that overpass here. Doesn't mean they are, but... Might have just been easier. A lot of traffic. Instead of making a light, build an overpass. I don't know. Like unmarked police officer, the way the car's set up. Well, I didn't know he was going to stop on a yellow light, making a right. You okay there, buddy? Are we going to go? I guess he's gonna. We're gonna make a ride on red now that the car's out of the way. I don't like doing it, but you know. Was not any intentions. I assumed he was gonna keep on going. That's what I get for assuming. <laughs> Clouds look beautiful area right now as the sun's coming up over the state of Texas Dumas I've actually been through there it's been a while a long while I can't even tell you how long it's been my goodness it's been a while Let's look at the map real quick. Yeah, 287 here ends up going up through Oklahoma. Ends up up here in Lamar. That's the last time I went through Texas, Kansas, and up into Colorado. Um, of course, last time I went through Amarillo, um, I went up this way over here. Um, end up, uh, I want to say it's called Guyman, Oklahoma, and then uh, went over here. It was... Uh, I can't even think of the name of the town. Um, went through Liberal, Kansas, and somewhere in this area. I don't remember exactly. But, yeah. So, 287 I've been on in the past. real, But, it's been a while still. <laughs> Drive nice. The Texas way. 60 mile an hour speed limit. As soon as we get going. Amarillo, 2 out of 29. Stay left to get on 27 and 40. And that road might be a future road, or they just don't want us on that road because it's a city street. 
and I'm waiting to see how realistic this one is here. Yeah, we're gonna slow her, slow her down, slow her down. some more yeah hey yeah there we go there we go yes we could go through that way if we needed to no where's the other road at then get over there that would sure be odd We have discovered a new viewpoint. I think we're going over the railroad track. Hmm. All right, let's start paying attention to what we're doing here. we needed to go we could go that way yeah okay wow I didn't realize traffic crossed like that that's interesting maybe it does maybe it doesn't Center or Center City. <laughs> Oklahoma City forward. Canyon love it. Can't wait till we can jump on 40 right here and head towards Oklahoma City. to see how good they do with Oklahoma and what roads they bring in what cities they bring in that's going to be some interesting I'm ready to see it ready to see it but Texas is here first that's fine how many states do we think they will bring to us in the year 2023 that would be another interesting one to think about leave a comment let me know what you think I'm going to predict two to three states. Oklahoma's got a lot to work with, but they also don't have as much as Texas did, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, Kansas, I mean, there, there's cities in these, in these states, but there's also a lot of fields, and yeah, you want to pay attention to the details because they you know, have good areas to have businesses in but they don't have the expanse that Texas had. We shall see. But they're, they can, you know, the longer they take, hopefully the better the detail will be. I'm ready to see it. I'm ready to see how many states they're gonna release. I, I'm, my guess, and I'm curious though, is it gonna go you know, Oklahoma, and then the North State, like North Dakota, and then Kansas, South Dakota, you know, and then Nebraska be last, and then work the next row of states, or are they going to do Oklahoma, Louisiana, and then Kansas, Arkansas, you know, how are they going to, I'm curious how they're going to do that. I'm running 82 miles an hour because I'm talking, and not watching, hitting the cruise control button. 
but time will tell with the game and we'll see how it goes nine hours and eight minutes left seven hours and 34 to the destination they will do with Arkansas too in the future will they have you know US 71 or will they go ahead and just make it as Interstate 49 even though it doesn't exist officially yet or um, will they have both Fort, uh, Fort Smith Van Buren Little Rock North Little Rock or, you know Fayetteville will they have that whole Northwest Arkansas area you know how will they do that that's kind of kind of curious to see that that'll be fun to see uh, will they have like you know what little towns going south will they have um, will they have hot springs you know be curious to see how it works of course with Oklahoma I'm curious you know what areas will they have and what roads will they have ready to see it Oklahoma will bring and Kansas will bring which they don't have it in Colorado, I've noticed, uh, at least not yet anyway. Uh, Colorado has a toll road around Denver, which is not there. I didn't, I've not seen it yet in the game. So, and a lot of Interstate 44 in Oklahoma is toll road. We're in Lubbock, Texas. And, um, so I'm kind of curious how they'll do that. Like I said, I'm ready to see it. It's exciting. Yep, there is a truck stop up here on the right. I remember seeing that last time I was in love with it. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's not necessarily going to be that exact truck stop, but, you know. One highway, that's probably going to be, what, 82? Okay. See, I ended up coming down 27, and you know what, it might have been, I don't know, I forget the road. I love how they're managing to incorporate the service roads. see the service roads continue but hey you know they're doing really good with this big old truck stop over here he actually not so we'll go ahead and over there they go see they got some service roads here see a road going out to it I wonder if it's got some kind of tie into a business or something out there so you can turn left right here I wonder what they got out there that's kind of cool <laughs> little service area ah oh, there they go they got that cool 
I don't I don't know if there's really one right in that particular spot, you know, or roughly that spot, but that's what they look like in Texas. That is awesome. We have Texas uh, DPS over there. Nope, just a farm truck. Okay, cool, cool. All right, this is awesome. We're getting to see more of Texas here in the game. I don't want to see it in real life. I'll be, I, I don't like driving down there, but it's pretty cool so far in the game. They're representing it so far pretty well. People that are actually from Texas would be able to tell better, but from my little experience with Texas, you know. Let me ready to see uh, if I can get me a load over towards like Waco and that area. I run that more than this part of Texas, so. Fast food. Shocking there's not a traffic light there. Wow. It's alright with me though. It's not my Freightliner, by the way. I'm not saying I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't like that. But. Be the color my company would run right there. y'all haven't noticed my first truck I bought was black this truck's black and yeah I'm looking for another one yeah all these fuel stops I'm seeing I hope Del Rio has fuel um, let's see I said I still got 188 gallons left so. All right, Texas national flag. I'm in national color. I'm in. Here we go. Sorry. Every time I'm in Texas, that's all I ever see is road work signs. Me and several of my buddies joke about that. That's Texas national color right there. In fact, you know what? I think the Longhorns are that color, aren't they? Orange and white. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. I'm not, like I said, nothing episode or two ago. I'm not a football fan. I was going through Denver when I said it in the game. I watch football with friends and family if they're sitting there around the TV watching it, but to keep up with a lot of stuff, I know a little bit, but not enough. Got a truck stop here on this side. Yep, Interstate 20 right here. How about that? We're going to continue south. You want to notice that, by the way? If you want to get on 20 east. Oh, really? 20 east? Oh, okay. Never mind, never mind, never mind. I see it. It's got the up and then left. Okay. Never mind. Forgive what I was getting ready to say. That would have been 20 west and... Oh. Yeah, there we go. There we go. <laughs> that truck's like, I can make it! And then left. <laughs> What do we got up here? Do we got a viewpoint or a recruitment center? Yeah, something with a question mark. Discovered a new viewpoint. Really? Okay. 
Something historical. Huh. It said avid, avid historical historian. Interesting. We'll have to check it out one day. 55 mile hour. Are we going to have to change lanes up here? We just got in this lane. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we got to move over. San Angelo. This is actually some roads I've never been on this way. Now, that I recall anyway. If I have, I don't recall it. Let me guess, we're going to start slowing down as soon as we just got on the road and got going. We got 182 miles to go. We have roughly $400,000 once we get down here. I think we're debt free anyway right now, so it's not like you know we got to pay a loan off. I don't think. We'll double check when we get the money if I can remember. <laughs> San Angelo. There's the discovery. <laughs> I'll say that light will stay long, yellow long enough for me to get through. Let's go. 
Welcome to San Angelo. Let's see. One, two, three. We've discovered four out of 29 cities already. If there's another uh, viewpoint like it was a second ago some kind of in the avid historian <laughs> Kirkman Center is probably over there with the question mark yep discovered a new viewpoint but it did not come up avid historian Actually, just be the garage over there. I don't know. He stopped a lot faster than I could. <laughs> That's what I get, right? open all year long at least that I know information wise is good luck in certain parts of Texas though using them because it's been so dry lately down there whoop look like it went on future expansion maybe of the game
Stay wrong. I think I've been to Del Rio before, but I don't remember how I got there because this was like way back in 08, 09. Uh, I was running a dedicated account uh, for a dollar company, I'll put it that way. The company I ran with ran a lot of their freight. We'd go to their stores and live unload their, their freight via rollers into the back of the store with staff unloading it off the rollers. got three choices which one you want to choose out of on the dollar stores but I will say it was a dollar one had dollar in their name anyway <laughs> Hit your brakes there, driver. He hit his brakes right as he was moving over lanes. Oh well. I don't like doing what I just did. But it was that or hit him. Speed them of a 75 coming, going through that little uh, passing zone area. He was staying ahead of me and then holy moly, he slowed down on me. I, I know. Pay attention, huh? That's what I get for being able to go so fast, you know? When you got a fast truck, you will get in trouble. Better to have a slow truck. Stay in the right lane and stay out of everybody else's way. I think there's an option in the game I could govern my truck now. gonna slow her down ourselves here. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at the water. Texas has water. Hey y'all, how about that? Reduce speed ahead. Don't worry, we're already going 55 pretty much. Oh, we're gonna slow down though. Rio. Ball day, I've been there. Same company. And we're 
we're at 5 of 29. Here's a neat little history fact or, uh, I don't know, history or scenic fact. I, yeah, let's go scenic. Um, Paris, Texas has the Paris, Texas Eiffel Tower. I've never seen the French Eiffel Tower in Paris, France, but they have their version in Paris, Texas. Really cool sight to see. Um, it is, of course, you know, supposed to be the replica, but a smaller version. Eagle Pass up in there, too. Um, smaller version of the real thing. It's got the Texas symbol of a cowboy hat on it, of course. Real cool to see, so. If you're down in the t Paris, Texas area, it's free to do. Just drive in there and check it out. Also, a uh, big salute out to our American veterans, or our U.S. United States veterans, because they have a big veteran park display there as well. So that was really cool to get to walk through and see all that. So, so if you're ever down in Paris, Texas, look that up, check it out. No cost to do that. Pretty cool, I thought. Yep, I know. Is he gonna go though when we get a green light? He didn't throw us four ways, so yep, there he goes. Wasn't trying to, but three percent damage on the truck, three percent on the trailer. I guess I'm too excited being in Texas. <laughs> it's a terrible reason, right? I'll be honest, I'm trying to stay off my brakes because I'm tired of hearing them beep at me. Guess I can do this. I don't have to hear them beep at me. We're getting sleepy. I didn't even see any place here in town to uh, go to bed. Eh, there's something nearby. Oh. Yeah, rest area. Scale house. Oh, maybe not. There's a fuel stop there, too. So it looks to be a fuel shop or a service plaza or something down here too. Where's the tracks? They're right there. Whoa, dude. Scared me a little bit. And I'm hit a lot of things lately, but I'm not purpose. I'm not, well, not because they pulled out in front of me, because I chose to hit them, I guess is the best way to say it. Is gonna offload it right there. Okay, I'll back her on in. Oh, 
I'm sorry, this is a fuel tanker. How in the world? Leveled up again. Level two. All right. Um, let's go ahead and do fuel economy. <laughs> Freight market. Okay. Cargo market. There we go. Dang. All the way over there to go. Ooh. There we go. Um. Can we... We we'll go back up to Amarillo. Offer expires in seven hours. So. Here's what we're gonna do. Our dude's tired. So what we will do, just to help him out, is we will come over here. And we will put our guy to bed for the night. And then we'll try to figure out what we're going to do on the, by, the, by the time we start the next episode. Hey guys, have a good day. You're gonna have to go. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Are we? We're not placarded, y'all. But, never mind. We're not gonna go anywhere yet.
One story I've always heard though. Technically, you're always placarded if you have a time. So we stopped. We were good boys and girls. Well, if we wanted to shop down here in this part of Texas, there's a shop available right over there. I think we could have went in there, but also looks like we could go in here. So we're going to go in this way. Come back here and try to get out of the way. Since no one is parked back here, we'll just uh, flip a U-turn and park right in here. See that line in that mirror that well. Isn't that just beautiful? Now, there are, looks like whenever we're backing up, that axle is lifted on that trailer. I don't remember having that on the trailer, though, so let's get us a little bit of rest. All right, the driver made $9,200. Awesome. Cargo market. Do we have anything down here now? Still nothing. Okay. What do we have near us? Um, junction. Let's look up San Antonio. Oh, San Angelo. Man, nothing close by though. San Angelo to Galveston? That might just work. San Angelo to Ogden, San Angelo to Galveston. Um, let's back out of here real quick. Content company. Um, crude oil. Pareto has some they have. So, we look up job market, cargo market. San and Okay, so nothing there about junction. Junction, junction. J U N C. Okay, so Grand Junction will receive some from Page, but that's about it. Okay. So San Angelo to Galveston. Not a bad route. We get some more cities in Texas. So we will deadhead up there. That'll be on the next episode. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, appreciate you guys checking out Fat Kevin Gaming with American Truck Simulator. 
Hit that like and subscribe button if you greatly would. I would greatly appreciate it. We're going to try to get up to Dallas. And from Dallas, uh, once we get to Dallas, we'll try to get us a shop. If not in Dallas, Houston at least. But definitely trying to get to Dallas. So thank you guys for watching, like I said. And we will catch you on Wednesday's episode. Talk to y'all later. Hit that like and subscribe button.